This is what I call a party. Hey guys, I would love to have a party and serve pad thai, thai curry, and thai iced tea to all my guests. Wouldn't you? So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make a large batch of thai iced tea for your next party. Today I'm going to show you how to make a large batch of this delicious beverage. It's so easy and efficient that you may actually just want to make a batch and keep it in your fridge so you can drink it all week long. I love Thai iced tea and one thing that I really like about Thailand is being able to just go outside and get Thai iced tea from a street food vendor. Be sure to check out my original Thai iced tea recipe here so you can make your own single serving of this amazing beverage at home. The first thing you want to keep in mind is that you want to actually make this drink the day before so that way it has a chance to get cold in your fridge overnight. So that's a great thing about this drink, you can make it and just get it out of the way. The second thing that you want to keep in mind when making this drink following this video is that the first part, brewing the Thai iced tea mix, takes about 30 minutes. But while it's brewing, you can just set a timer, go off, do other things, and then come back to finish and complete the drink. Here are the ingredients that you will need, and I will be sure to put the conversions down in the description below. 100 grams of Cha Tra Mu original Thai iced tea mix. 100 grams of white sugar. 1.75 liters of hot water. One can of condensed milk, or about 397 grams. One can of evaporated milk, or about 170 grams. And of course, at the end, you will need some ice and a little bit of milk to top off each drink. If you have a weight scale, you're definitely gonna want to use it for this next step. However, if you don't, of course, I have put the conversions below in the description. This is going to be my main container that I'm going to brew and store in. Whichever container you're going to brew the Thai tea in, we want to put it on the scale and hit tear. This should also show grams and zero. Next, we're going to put in our 100 grams of sugar. So watching your scale, you're going to add the sugar until you hit 100 grams. Perfect. Now you're going to hit tear on your scale again to go back to zero. Next, you're going to pour in 100 grams of your Thai iced tea mix. Mmm, and that smells really good. Perfect, exactly 100. We can go ahead and move the scale to the side now. As our next step, we will be adding a liquid and using liters and milliliters. Next, we are going to boil a kettle, and you may have to do this step twice. The amount of hot water that you need in order to brew for this first step with the Thai iced tea mix is 1.75 liters. Now, my Pyrex only goes to 500, so that means I'm going to do 500 twice in order to get my one liter. Then I'm gonna go back and do 500 again and 250 in order to get me 750 milliliters. Now again, I know a lot of people may not be familiar with milliliters, and I will put the conversions down below in the description. At this point, you want to give it a really good stir because not only is the tea mix in there, but also the white sugar. So we want to make sure that sugar over the next 30 minutes dissolves. And then we want to go ahead and pop a lid on top in order to keep all that hot air in there. We're definitely looking for a really strong concentrated brew. One other thing to keep in mind is that the Thai tea mix does stain. So please do be careful. Try not to splatter it on your countertops or on your clothes, uh, because if you do, believe me, it's really difficult to get off. 
So I'm going to start my timer for 30 minutes. And then about halfway through, I wanna come back and give it a really good stir once again. Well, I've got a lot of things to do, so I'll see you guys back here in just a little bit. If you're liking this video so far, do me a favor and click that like button. It really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm and I really appreciate it. Thanks so much. All right, our timer has gone off and our 30 minutes is up. We're going to stir this one more time and then I'm gonna show you how to do this next step. Mmm, that smells really nice. Because this is such a large batch of Thai iced tea, I'm going to be using this giant jelly strainer. Basically, you put this in here, like that, and it has enough elasticity where it will hold it when we're pouring the tea and all of the mixture in. The legs look like this, so that helps to prop it up. And I find personally putting it in this giant bowl that has a spout right here will make it easier for me to pour it in here, then clean out my main container for storage, then I'm gonna pour it back. So it's kind of a back and forth type thing, if you will. With all Thai tea, you definitely wanna make sure that you get something that is a really fine mesh for straining. I preferably like something that has a double layer because the Thai tea mix itself is really, really fine. And if you just use a normal tea strainer, majority of it will just go straight through it. So we wanna get something really thick and uh, it won't allow for all the little tiny bits to seep through. A lot of places will call these a tea sock as well. All right, so when we're pouring this into the jelly strainer, we definitely wanna make sure not to splatter any of this Thai tea anywhere because it will stain. All right, so here we go. Just watch carefully so you can see exactly how I do this process. So I'm gonna leave this to drain for just a few minutes while I go wash out my main storage container. Then when I come back, I'm gonna bring a pair of gloves and I'm gonna push out all of the extra tea and transfer it out and then we're gonna put it back in here. So just hang tight for a second. All right, I just have a normal pair of throwaway gloves. You could also use some clean kitchen gloves. And the reason why is because I don't wanna stain my hands. So very carefully, we're going to push and just get all that last bit of juice out of the tea. There we go. And carefully take it off the top here. All right. Now, obviously we would be close to a sink and I could put this straight into the sink. Um, but I'm just gonna be really carefully transferring this over here, making sure it doesn't stain my table. And we're ready for the next step. Oh, and of course, uh, you don't wanna put your tea down the drain. Make sure that you put that into the trash bin, okay? When we put the condensed milk in the evaporated milk into this, I prefer to actually do it in here as opposed to stirring it like this. Um, the reason why is simply, again, we just don't wanna have a lot of splattering of the Thai tea, and when it's in here, I can just simply stir it back and forth. But you know, whatever works best for you, go for it. What I'm gonna do is transfer this back into my main storage container, the one that I know that fits nicely in my refrigerator. All right, so our sugar is already dissolved at this point. It went through that dissolving process when we had it in the tea with the hot water for 30 minutes and we gave it a really good stir. So now we're going to dissolve the condensed milk and the evaporated milk. So first I'm going to simply put my condensed milk into my container. I love condensed milk. And next we will put in our evaporated milk.
All right, guys, this is your final opportunity to give it a really good stir before you pop it in the fridge. Mmm, this smells amazing. All right, and I'm just gonna pop my lid on top here. And it's all set to go. Okay, so now we're gonna pop this in the fridge overnight and get it nice and cold for when our guests arrive tomorrow. If you did, however, wanna drink it hot, that's totally fine, but just remember that it's quite condensed. So I would advise putting some hot water or warm milk in your glass when you put this in it, just to get it to the correct flavor profile. And again, tomorrow, when we go to take this out of the fridge and it's nice and cold, when we're serving it to our guests, we will either add some cold water or some cold milk just to dilute it a little bit to get it ready for them. And alternatively, if you wanted to drink this right now cold, you can just have a nice big glass of ice, pour it on, and it's ready to go. Okay, I'm gonna put this in the fridge and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay guys, all ready for the party. I got my Thai tea, it's been chilling in the fridge overnight, nice and cold. I'm gonna give it one more quick stir. It's looking nice and creamy, and it smells amazing. So at this point, because our beverage is nice and cold, you can simply have some glasses out with ice in them or have a little bowl of ice on the side and then the guests can help themselves to the ice. But we definitely wanna make sure it's at a lower temperature and then that way it will slowly melt the ice. However, when you're serving this Thai tea to your guests, you wanna make sure that you still fill up the entire glass full of ice. That's the one thing that makes Thai iced tea really, really special is it's super, super cold. And also the Thai tea will slowly melt away the ice and it will change the flavor slightly. Now when you fill the glass up with the Thai tea, you only wanna do it about half to three quarters way. The rest of the way, you wanna fill it with milk. Alternatively, some more ice cold water. Just depends on your preference. And of course, my favorite way to drink Thai tea is with a straw. So just make sure that you have a few of those off to the side for your guests as well. If you've ever been to one of my dinner parties, you know that I don't do things the easy way. So here's how I would serve my guests. Oh no, she didn't. Oh yes, I did. The fountain of Thai tea. This is what I call a party. Anyone who has a fountain of Thai tea at their party, count me in. All right guys, I brought the goods. You could in theory just pour some milk or some water uh, just to dilute the flavor. And as I mentioned, my favorite way to enjoy Thai tea is with a straw. So make sure that you've got cut up small straws for these little mini glasses. So personally, I would have a little sign off to the side that says, number one, fill your glass with ice. Number two, fill your glass three fourths full with Thai tea. And number three, top it up with milk. That way your guests can just come over, grab a glass, fill it up with some ice, And then, fill it up with Thai tea and top it off with some milk. Pop their straw in and enjoy. I know I will. Oh yeah. That's good. That's real, real good, and it hits the spot. Having a large batch of Thai tea, whether it's in a fountain or not, is such a good idea when you have a large group of guests coming over and everyone wants to enjoy a really nice drink, especially if it's a dinner party that's themed around Thai food. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Thai tea party, yeah. Well guys, thanks for joining me today as I made this huge party-sized batch of Thai iced tea. I hope you guys had just as much fun today watching this video as I had making it. I'm really looking forward to finishing my glass of Thai iced tea and, well, all of this. Just as much as I am looking forward to reading your comments below. And while you're there, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. I bring you a brand new drink video every week. 
See you soon.